Okay, now that we have created the Fresnel materials and also created the uh, set up the um, final gathering lighting environment, now I'm going to show you how we can actually change the reflections of uh, the chrome spheres here. Now, as you can see, the, there's nothing much in the environment for these chrome spheres to reflect. So you can actually customize your own reflection by adding a environmental sphere node. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and downloaded uh, the image. All right, downloaded in a reflection map image. Okay, which you can easily find by searching for HDRI reflection maps. And there should be plenty uh, that is available for you if you look under Google, right? All those that actually runs around like this, these are called spherical reflection maps. Now for, sphere for reflection maps that appear as a sphere, these are called angular maps. So please know the difference. So now that you know, just uh, I already uh, downloaded one of these uh, reflection maps. You can actually t try to download this one. This one simulates a photo studio environment. And uh, let's go ahead and change the reflection environment. So the first method is I'm going to use the uh, reflection node. So I'm going to open up the hypershade. And I'm going to work the reflection on my chrome, okay, the gold chrome material. So while it is selected, I'm going to click on the input and output. And I'm going to control and change the reflected color of this uh, material. So I'm going to search for uh, ENV, type ENV, you should be able to find a ENV sphere. So this one will create a ENV sphere node. So I'm going to click on this button to organize all the nodes again. So I'm going to shift select this. And okay, so Every time you created nodes, right, they are going to appear in different categories here. So I created a texture, which is an environment sphere node. It's going to appear in the texture node. So if only one of the items is selected and you click the input and output uh, to organize the nodes, uh, the reflection node is going to disappear. Or rather, the ENV Chrome node is going to disappear. So you will need to click on the texture node and middle mouse click and drag it to put it in the work environment again. So I'm going to select both of these at the same time and reorganize them. So I'm going to grab the environment sphere, the out color, I'm going to drag and connect it to the reflected color. Okay, so clicking on the environmental sphere node, I can change or bring in the image which I want the sphere to reflect. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this uh, create node button here and select file and going clicking on the file folder I'm going to look for the reflection uh, reflection map which I've downloaded okay so it should be one of this okay so I've downloaded this one okay and I'm gonna put it in and now you can see instantly a uh, reflection will appear on the on the uh, sphere itself. Now let's go ahead and try rendering it. And on my preview, the hardware preview, you can see the reflection map actually appearing here. So if I go ahead and render it, the material which I've assigned the reflection map will have its own custom reflection. Okay, so now the sky is no longer black, but it is actually reflecting uh, the image which I brought in. So you can try to uh, reflect, uh, create a reflection based on this method. Now another method is to, if you want all the objects, highly reflective object to reflect the same material, you can change the environment settings okay, by going to the environment settings. And under the scene option, okay, you can turn on image based lighting. So what this does is that it will create, or rather it will use the image as a light source to light everything here. So I'm going to click on create. And then under the image name, I'm going to bring in the same 
uh, donut lighting effect and then you're just going to click open so now this image has been brought in and if I take a look at the environment you can see this is the the entire uh, there's a sphere that is surrounding the entire scene and then the image right now is, is going to be used as a reflection uh, map as well so it's going to reflect the environment and also at the same time this image is going to light up the whole scene so I expect the whole scene to be a bit washed out because we have this lighting plane here but let's do a test render and see Okay, now we have they're coming in from two directions. We have the lighting plane that we've created. Then we also have the environment lighting map that is actually reflecting off those materials that is not assigned the custom uh, reflection material. And because now we have two light sources, the shadows doesn't appear to be too harsh. And in fact, this, this scene actually uh, looks pretty good. Okay, so this is two ways where you, which you can use to light up your scene, uh, which or rather there's uh, two ways to set up a reflections on for your reflect reflective materials and in the previous video uh, you've known that you can use a plane with incandescence bumped up to the maximum to be used as a lighting source and now using the image based lighting option you can use an image which you can use as a uh, image source to surround the whole scene to produce the light so I hope this uh, tutorial will give you some ideas on how to set up your lighting.